Hey, it's your entrepreneur, She Boss, with another video for you guys of business grants and loans. Grants and loans always come in handy because you don't ever have to use your personal expenses to supply your business. Okay, so this is the SBIR and STTR grant. Okay, so these are small business grants uh, specifically for business innovation research, uh, small business technology transfer programs. They're highly competitive programs. They encourage domestic small businesses to engage in federal research, research development, things of those sorts. So they, they're programs that fund a diverse portfolio in startups and small businesses. They have major similarities, but they also have some differences. Uh, one of the major differences between the SBIR and the STTR is the STTR requires the small business to partner up or collaborate with a nonprofit research institution or program while the SBIR allows you to partner or collaborate with a profit research institution, or as we say, for-profit institution or organization. These grants are a three-phase or step process. They give you from between $50,000 to $250,000. Another grant we have is the National Association for the Self-Employed, or the NASC grant. Uh, this is a nonprofit organization. They provide resources to self employed individuals and micro businesses. Um, they work with uh, hundreds of thousands of micro businesses. This is a really good program for micro business owners, small business owners. This grant gives up to $4,000. This can really expand the business, this can really Help to promote the business, advertise the business, or if you need equipment, you know, computers, machinery, then this would be the one of the grants to apply for. It's a good grant for marketing, good grant for expanding small businesses, local businesses. Okay, so next we have the Rural Energy for America grant. Okay, this is from the Department of Agriculture. So it assists in rural small businesses and agricultural producers, also known as a REAP grant or REAP. So if you're applying for a grant from Rural Energy America program, you need to have at least 75% of project costs if you're applying for the grant. If you're applying for the loan, you need to provide at least 25% of the project costs. They have grants and loans available. Another qualification is to live in a rural area with 50,000 residents or less. So if you're in the farming industry, whereby 50% of greater of the gross income is derived from the products, or if you're in ranching, then this would be a grant to apply for. Well, I'm giving briefing on this. I mean, you guys can go online, do your research. I will have more information in another video for you. Let's get into another grant. So we have the Value Added Producer Grant. Okay, this is another grant that uh, it's authorized by the Agricultural Risk Protection Act. So this is also another agricultural grant. This grant is to help agricultural producers uh, value-added activities, generate new products, marketing, increase the income, things like that. They might not still have this grant open, uh, but they do still have the REAP grant open, the REAP grant. But check it out online just in case. So it's basically a development and marketing grant. And this grant gives uh, as much as $250,000 in working capital. Okay, so another grant that we have on the list is the FedEx Small Business Grant. To be eligible for this grant, you must be a for-profit business. You must have less than 99 employees and in operation for at least six months or more. You can enter uh, to apply. You go to 
www.fedex.com slash grant contest. From there, you'll fill out your contract info, write a short profile about your business, and you'll need to upload a few photos, including the logo, things like that. It's not required for you to do a video, but you can do like a few seconds video. That'll help. Um, you can go on social media, have people vote for you. I mean, just go to the website, check it out, and apply. Another grant that we have is the Amber Grant. I know a lot of people are aware of this grant. The Amber Grant gives about $10,000 each month to a woman-owned business. So the qualifications for this grant are to be 18 years of age or older, reside in the United States or Canada, and a woman-owned business. There is a $15 application fee for this grant. This grant is for small businesses, local businesses, female entrepreneur businesses. They also do a yearly grant giveaway for the winners. During the year, any of the business owners that have won the grants, they also get to participate in a annual grant giveaway. So that's another grant to apply for. Next, we're gonna talk about some of the loans. Yes, business loans. This is good for an SBA loan. You get 120 to 300 months for the loan terms. This loan you can borrow from 30,000 to 5 million. They have a 6.25 to 7.25 interest rate and your minimum credit score required is 640, anywhere between a 640 and a 675. On deck is good for short term loans. Um, they give you up to 24 months uh, in between $5,000 and $250,000 loan amount. They start at 29.90% APR, and the minimum score required is 600. So the next loan we have is Funding Circle. They are long-term loans. They give you from six to 84 months. Um, they loan you anywhere from 25,000 to 500,000 interest rates 4.99% to 19.49% and the minimum credit score required for this is 625. Uh, the next loan we have is Blue Vine. This is a line of credit um, from anywhere from 6 to 12 months and they loan you up to $250,000. Minimum credit score is 625. They have a low interest rate 4.80 and that's for a 26 week repayment time frame. Next we have Credibly. Now Credibly is a working capital loan. So they give you from six to 18 months to repay them. They give you up to $400,000 and their rates are 1.15 and minimum score required for this is 500. Your credit doesn't have to be, you know, the absolute best for this, but not the worst either. They charge you a 2.50% origination fee, but they also can get your loan as soon as one business day. The next loan we have is National Funding. National Funding does equipment financing. Okay, they give you 24 to 84 months, up to 150,000, and the APR rates are 4.99%. Minimum credit score for this is 575. They charge a 1% DAC fee for the equipment cost, and they can get you funding from 24 to 72 hours. Another loan company is Elevation Capital. Uh, they have a 1.12 APR range, loan amount from $5,000 to $10,000. Uh, the loan terms are six months. Minimum credit score is 550. They don't have any fees and they can get you your money within 10 days. Next, we have Reliant Funding. Reliant Funding is a merchant cash advance. Uh, the loan terms are three to 15 months. 
they loan you anywhere from 5,000 to 400,000 and they have a 1.10 interest rate. Minimum credit score required is a 525. Next loan company we have is QuickBridge. QuickBridge is good if you have bad credit. Uh, the loan terms are from 4 to 24 months. The loan amount is anywhere from 5,000 to 500,000. And the interest rates, 1.10, minimum score, 500. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.